Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. Last episode, the kids got to switch teachers. They learned some good lessons. The Miyagi-Do kids unfortunately almost died, <laughs> but no one was hurt. Kenny and Terry unfortunately joined Cobra Kai officially, and we may have some jealousy issues but I am hoping our fragile relationship between the Ego Fangs <laughs> and the Miyagi Do's stays in place. I hope Johnny doesn't do anything stupid. Our science lab is state of the art. Well, at least it was. Did it get destroyed in the fight? <laughs> Have everyone heard about the fight? Is that all the kids are gonna ask about? The high school? I heard it's haunted. Do you think that's true? Well, actually, I died five years ago. He's so adorable. He reminds me of a young Daniel. Well, ghost boy, you got strawberry on your snake shirt. Don't worry though. Nobody else can see you, right? Wait, I'm telling you, oh, we had no. a moment. Whoa! Don't do it, guys. Let's not be a dick. It's from my dojo. Maybe they started a kindergarten class <laughs> or a nursery. Look at right to mommy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If someone can help you, it's actually him. He was also bullied, and now he's better than God. Get out of Cobra Kai while you still can, because they're about to go down. <laughs> Why y'all being dicks? Go. I think he's gonna cry. Poor Kenny. Uh, Hawk, I wish you kind of talked to him, like, kinder. Why are you jealous, sir? This is good for everyone. I need you to relax. You're all training the kids. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not gonna get in trouble, am I? Go! <laughs> oh my god. Very nice. <laughs> that is such a dick thing to do. This is good, actually. Don't be a dick. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Dimitri. Damn, that was suck. Yes. You hungry? Oh, I'm actually going with Miss LaRusso. We're finishing my mom's car. Oh, okay, no problem. This one guy told me I should quit Cobra Kai. Who was he? I don't know. He had this spiky red hair. We still owe that Judas some payback. Oh, yeah. Payback for what, Tori? You need to get your life together. And maybe mind your own business sometimes. Class, meet Sensei Terry Silver. A tragedy. It's an honor to be here. With two senseis, you will receive twice the instruction. But if you dig in, and follow our lead, we're gonna take you to the next level. I'm sorry I had to give up a Saturday to work on a car. My mom will be happy. She can go out on dates again. Sir, you have no idea, okay? I still don't know how he's going to react, but I really hope Miguel is not angsty about it. Success! Look at that. You're a natural. You gotta get to a party and meet Amanda and Sam. I'm running late. Let's go. What? Good for Daniel for taking an interest in Miguel. It's better to have two teachers than one. Oh. 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 You're doing great. Doing great. Oh. References on references on references. Oh no, please tell me right, she's not a stripper. Do they know how old she is? I feel so bad for her. Oh, okay, they're a mermaid. Okay. <laughs> that intro seems so seedy. Are you guys gonna beat up this hawk, dude? Don't worry about it, all right? Focus on your combos. Got all the moves down. Over at Miyagi-Do, I was taught you can learn all the moves, but none of that matters unless you have balance. I love Robbie teaching Kenny, you know, being a brother to him, but I wish. <laughs> I wish they were anywhere but here, okay? Did I say take it easy? Ooh. Sir, you're supposed to be teaching him, not breaking his back. Terry does a lot. You need to calm down, sir. You've learned to channel your anger. If you want to be a champion, you need to dig out that fear and face it. Sir, you still haven't dealt with your fears or your PTSD. Maybe you should go to therapy and deal with your problems and stay away from Crease. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Why is Johnny the way he is? Jesus. <laughs> You'll never get past me. Yes, I will. I'm an American hero. I got some big news. Do you remember that man Sid that we went out to dinner with? The fat bald guy? I thought Johnny was a little older when Sid and his mom got together. I didn't know he was this young. I wonder if we're going to see all three of them together and see why they never meshed. He proposed. Isn't it beautiful? Things are gonna be better. No! Does Johnny know who his father is? Were his parents together then got a divorce? Or is it kind of like his situation with Robbie? You saved his things? Johnny, you oh, should no. have this from me. We have to move on. Is that why he drinks that drink? Because his father did? That is depressing and sad. I'm throwing it all away. Why? Let him keep something. He left us! You oh, have a new this is daddy. sad. Now go to bed. This is why you should talk to your son. You know, when you see a yellow light, you're supposed to slow down. So once we kind of just you know, it doesn't matter what he does. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I was pretty shaky at first too. Most of the kids my age all had their dads teach them. Are we gonna see Miguel's father this season? He got caught up with something illegal. My mom was pregnant and tried to get him to stop. And oh, no. that's why my mom and dad moved up here. Does Miguel's dad know where he is, or is the mom like hiding from him and? whatever illegal things that he was doing. I hated my mom for moving us to LA. As I got older, I realized she wasn't just looking for a new career, she was looking for a better life. Sounds like that's what your mom did. I say this a lot, but it is true. <laughs> Daniel and Johnny are literally the same people. Fortunately, Daniel got lucky with Mr. Miyagi. But then the valiant prince came to my rescue. Oh, is that the prince that you stole from another princess? The other princess wasn't dating that prince anymore. I had to save the prince. Using what? A weapon? Like spiked bracelet or nunchuck? Ma'am, I know you want to revel in this and take your opportunity to make fun of Tori and you feel some kind of way. But let's not. You need to stay away from her as much as you can. We don't want any more shenanigans to go down here. Beautiful dragon. She has a nice voice. <laughs> wow, and I thought you were bad at fighting. Just do your job, Tori. Don't worry about it. Focus. You don't want to get fired again. The song didn't put the dragon to sleep. Instead, it turned it into an evil witch. Only way she can be destroyed is with a glitter no, bomb. Tori, stop it. You don't help yourself, do you? You're going to get fired again. Die, evil witch! What's going on? You want to come in? Hawk and some of your students have been bullying this kid in school. For the record, Hawk did not bully him. Kenny just has a lot of pent up feelings towards anyone who he feels is making fun of him, which is understandable, but Hawk did not mess with him. I'm just trying to help this kid, but if those assholes don't knock it off, I'll do what I have to. Don't do anything stupid. Crease is brainwashing you just like he brainwashed me. That is true. Crease is dangerous and he can get into your head. I'm just using Cobra Kai to get what I want. I'm sorry, I'm sure you think that telling you you're playing with poison you're gonna get played you think you're using him but he's actually using you and you like the attention and the flattery for as long as i can remember i've been afraid that i would end up like you but i'm not gonna have that fear again because i'm better than you i guess there's nothing left to talk about send him that letter that you wrote he needs your help he needs to know that you love him you're doing the same thing that your father did and he's gonna have issues too if you don't get to him You just can't quit. I'm sorry about Sam, but can you blame her? And you need the job. I know the situation with your mom is tough. No, no, you don't know. So why don't you just stay out of it? Okay, there's gotta be someone in your family who can help. No one I can trust. No one can help you if you don't let them. If you ask, you might be surprised. That is good advice. You can't do everything by yourself. Sometimes you need help. And asking for help doesn't make you weak or less than. And you're a child. We went to this place called Katsuya. Miss LaRusso's friends with the chef there, I guess. So we brought out all this fresh fish. It was so good. 
know it seems you've been spending a lot of time with LaRusso lately. Let them teach them. You two are supposed to be working together. This is good, actually. Don't be a dick. What happened to scorpions? Slaughter? Is out the window? No. You can like different things, Johnny. What did you want to talk about? Uh, nothing. Do your thing. Let's do dinner tomorrow. You can make those sandwiches? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh no, are all of the kids here together? This is not good. Give shit. stuff. Hey yo, bitch boy. <sighs> I hate Kyler so much. Don't worry about him. Just hazing the new guy. It's a good thing. So Lexi wants me to send pictures now. Dude, I think you're Just being go. catfished. <gasps> you did that on purpose. Damn. I'm sorry. You of all people should know better. You were with them a minute ago. You should understand the situation and approach this much better and differently compared to the rest of them. You're being dumb right now. Hey guys, can you believe that they have Mr. Pip and Dr. Pepper? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> More moments later. And that is true. They never have Dr. Pepper and Mr. Pip together. That's a crime. We just hit the baseball diamond in 30 minutes. No weapons. Let's go. <laughs> Kenny's like, wait, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> a movie? Why are we having rumbles? Are they going to spray them with water? That would be funny. <laughs> Now you see what we're dealing with. Our students have a target on their backs. What? You started this. What are you talking about? I agreed to come back to do what we originally set out to do. But if we're going to do that, we have to learn from our mistakes. He's right. What mistakes? Turning kids into terrible people. You cannot tell me that you never heard that the Cobra Kai kids were bullied. Stop it. And you blew it. All because of the rivalry you had with Miyagi. He attacked my students. I'll never forget that morning when Johnny Lawrence, my champion, came into the dojo with a black eye. I wasn't going to let that old man get away with that. He was stopping a kid from being jumped by your terrible children. You're ridiculous and delusional. I don't know what world you're living in that you think Mr. Miyagi attacked your children. Cobra Kai, it was never about revenge. That's what we should be focused on. If we're just going to rehash the past, history will just repeat itself all over again. We just stand down and do nothing. So you picked a fight, you didn't show up, and then you doused them with a hose? Oh, uh, it was sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dimitri. You think they're just going to leave well enough alone? Miguel practice restraint found a way to get out of a bad situation without anyone getting hurt. Did you want them to get into a fight instead? That's dumb. Your judgment is being clouded by your jealousy of Daniel. You need to deal with that instead. Okay, Lewis, so we need to have a little talk. Gentlemen, it seems we have a few things to discuss. That was an ender. Unfortunately, I was right to be worried about Johnny's jealousy issues, but I am still disappointed in him. Also, I feel like if he had a better relationship with Robbie, he will loosen the reins on Miguel a bit. And I do feel for him because Johnny does seem to have an abandonment issue, especially seeing his childhood this episode. It seems like he doesn't want to be left. Johnny needs to get help for his issues, obviously but he really needs to send that letter to Robbie. He can express to him all of the things that he wants to say. It will be much easier to write a letter. It will be cathartic for Johnny and Robbie doesn't have to confront his dad. They need to get closer together and that will mend Robbie's issues too. At this point, we're just continuing the same stuff. And if you don't actively change it, it's not gonna change. When it comes to Sam, I get why she was being the way she is and doing what she was doing. I don't want them to interact at all, but it is what it is. I do have an issue with Amanda not pulling Sam aside and telling her to stop. She said she will do it later and handle it, but I wish she would have done it in the moment. Her advice to Tori was good though. I hope Tori takes it to heart and actually acts on it. 
And she needs someone telling her things that she doesn't want to hear without, you know, making her angrier or making her feel like the world is out to get her because I feel like that's what Crease does. I hope Tori can find someone that can help her or they can get more assistance with paying the bills and maybe that will lower her stress and she can deal with her anger problems because that temper is gonna get her in trouble if she doesn't get it under control. She's gonna end up like Johnny if she doesn't get her life together. I despise Chris. He's delusional and a dickhead. I don't know what's wrong with this man or why he thinks the way he does. I think Terry did good this episode. I like him trying to correct Crease and direct him towards the right thing, but I'm going to wait till next episode to see whether Terry being there is a good thing or not. Because Terry could be a good influence, but Crease is terrible and his ways are going to rub off on him. And I'd rather Terry leave and go find his peace and deal with his problems than be around Crease. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you have a good one and you'll see me later. Bye.